This video is basically a response to a question that keeps coming up over and over. Probably will for a long time to come. Hi, I'm Tom Olszewski with Coldwell Banker and Team Olszewski. I put out some other videos with regards to it and that is the question of the Zillow's estimates and Zillow's presence on the internet and some of the things that information and services that Zillow provides. They have a page on their website somewhere. It's buried down on the site and there is a bit, but it, it does this kind of state-by-state -state reliability percentage of their Zestimate values, that's home values that they provide. Because they have admitted that they are not the most accurate, and then they started out venturing into buying and selling their own real estate. So they've created a little bit of, I guess you'd call it their own real estate company. Well, I shouldn't say a little bit, it's pretty substantial. And the idea was to use their valuing algorithms for valuing homes to make offers to homes. That would contact them with the feature on Zillow saying, you know, sell or buy my home type thing and the business plan there was to buy these homes at what their computer generated values had told them. They could work, worth and then anticipated appreciation also any cost to make improvements and sell and etc and so they've been at this for a while and ha, they have failed miserably at this part as well most agents know that you can't value a home online and i have a buyer looking for a home and there was a zillow owned home they were interested in and asked me to investigate it as it had fallen out of escrow four times so i see zillow they bought the home at 535 and then put it on the market for 599 after falling out of escrow four times it has now been reduced to 549 during my investigation for my buyer i asked to see the most recent home inspection report which they sent to me great upon review it was determined this home had many 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 big problems plumbing leaks uh, such as electrical outlets not working, problems with the pool, plumbing, leaks, stucco problems, roof problems. Wow, it's been some time since I have seen an inspection come back this bad. So they definitely will lose money on this. And it's just one example of how bad they fail. Great for the seller though. But this fall, they made an announcement they were going to basically put it on ice until the end of the year and just analyze what was going on. And I think part of what they were looking at was on average, one resource had said that they were losing about 80,000 on a house on this purchasing and reselling enterprise. Fairly recently, then they announced that the branch of their operation was going to be basically abandoned and no longer offered or, pursu or were pursuing, um, in some circles it's called the iBuyer platform. This is where there's companies that will offer to buy your home for cash, kind of almost sight unseen type of a thing. Other than that, <clears throat> they might have access to pictures and things like that. So that caused <clears throat> quite an uproar and a lot of interesting fallout. And probably a lot of you have seen where Zillow stock went down 25%, which is kind of followed in line with about 25% of their employees being laid off. So quite a bit of turmoil in Zillow land. And again, I just, just kind of circling back to the whole Zestimate platform or this estimate information that's provided is we've always talked about it not being extremely reliable. There's two things that will give you a reliable home value. One is an appraiser and one is a real estate agent. There is a lot more to creating value for a home. I think that history now has proven that 
not a great metric compared to a human being that has the ability to keep the pulse on the market, understand the pulse of the market, and the conversations of people from both buyers and sellers that are out there in the market. So I thought I'd just pass that along about this interesting change in the industry. There will probably be more news to come from this, so I hope this was helpful and interesting. If you have questions about this, feel free to reach out to me or if something like uh, that you'd want to pass on to your friends, please do so and please subscribe to our channel. Click the bell to get updates on new videos. Thank you very much for viewing and remember it's important who you work with.